Western leaders have criticized Donald Trump for threatening to encourage Russia to attack NATO allies who are not spending enough on defense. The Republican frontrunner Trump has regularly lashed out at members of the alliance for not fulfilling their commitments, especially failing to spend at least 2% of their economic output on defense. NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg says any suggestion that allies would not defend each other undermines Western security. And Henry would know this if I... Stefan Simons is in Washington, D.C. and joins us now. Uh, Stefan, what do we make of that? Well, here you go. You have uh, classic Donald Trump. Uh, you know, it is interesting. He didn't uh, say this in front of a crowd of people who are regarded as really interested in foreign policy of the United States. This was in South Carolina in a campaign event, and people there, they don't care about NATO or Russia or even Ukraine, arguably, uh, at the moment, at least. That is, they care about border issues and the inside U.S. politics, the economy, etc. So why did he say that? Two, and it is a stunning uh, admission after all, that is true, to stay relevant with the outer world. And he achieved that. But, of course, this is classic Trump telling a tale of what he and how tough he was when he was president and that he told NATO off, meaning actually admitting that uh, if he is in power, NATO is pretty much obsolete, or at least Article 5, which considers that or says that an attack on one NATO partner is an attack on all NATO partners and they come in to help, then this is obsolete and not going to happen anymore if you don't pay up according to Donald Trump. Again, classic Trump. Stefan, so what's been the uh, reaction thus far? Reactions from the GOP senators, for example, is to downplay it. They say exactly what I kind of said here. Uh, that is Donald Trump just talking that he is, of course, not in charge to cancel uh, a U.S. membership or stewardship of NATO. That is a decision which has to be made in Congress. So. Therefore, you have it. It is a lot of talk, a lot of bolstering here uh, of Donald Trump. They downplayed. Now, the White House, for that matter, has a complete different reaction. They took this serious. They take this serious. And the, spokes the spokesperson of the White House came out saying that this is, of course, endangering international security as well as the security and safety of the United States in, uh, in so many words. Um, the thing is here, this is Donald Trump trying to stay relevant and to be talked about and being in the media on a weekend that the rest of America is solely focused on Super Bowl and Taylor Swift. <laughs> we will certainly get to that, uh, but thanks for the tease. That is uh, Stefan Simons in Washington. Many thanks.